Hello, buddy. Princess and the Bear here. It's Mardi Gras time. Who that? Yes. We're universal for the f opening day of the Mardi Gras festival here. Uh, it's our first time ever. Yes. We like new things. We like yeah. new food. Yeah, so excited. We like new drinks. So we're going to head inside and uh, throw some beads. Be sure to who that? You're at the girl. Potato stick. Or is it a chip? It's like a hybrid between a chip and a potato. I don't know how I feel about this as like a main. It's an okay snack. I'm kind of sad because it said Cajun seasonings for vegans, but the only vegan option was um, salt and vinegar. So it's a little more bland than I was expecting it. I wanted some like Cajun seasonings. Not bad, especially when you wash it down with a beer. Right. So I've been waiting to try this potato on a stick. Ever since we saw, first saw them cool taste of Halloween Horror Nights we had uh, back in October, but I really was expecting more. It's really just the spiral potato. And like the salt is not evenly distributed. You can see it's like that straight down, and that's really it. There's no salt on the rest of it. And yeah, there's a little bit in here, I guess. You can sort of like roll it around, I guess. But. Comes off with soggy potato chips. I know some Universal fans love this. I see what the hype is about. Two out of five plus. We're done. Survey says unevenly cooked potato, half soggy, half crunchy, not evenly seasoned, not a huge win, but filling and pairs beautifully with beer. These are little like dough guys, and you have the option of dipping it in powdered sugar or tamarind sauce. Of course, I'm gonna pick tamarind. These cute little puffy guys. There's no way I'm gonna be able to eat a whole one of these. This tamarind is very light in color. Usually, I'm used to tamarind being a little more burgundy. Wow. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like, almost like a biscuit, I wanna say, but better tasting. This is next level good. I don't wanna share this with Bear. I don't even want him to take one bite. I think this is my favorite thing at the festival so far. Mmm. Oh yeah. I could eat like 10 of these, no problem. These are like weird hush puppies. Hopefully they look better than I taste. Or, wait. Tastes better than they Tastes better than I look? It's been one of those days. A nice little dunk. What do you got, a single dunk, double dunk? Mmm. Warm, gritty goodness with those seasonings. Like, 
which is like curry and tamarind. Well, it's sauce tamarind, but ooh, that's good. It is like a little hush puppy. That's consistency. Like you compare it to the outside, it's a little less crisp than you eat a hush puppy, but the flavor is just like all the way through warm and moist. But almost compared to like a cornbread, this is good. I give this four and a half out of five plus. Of all things we've had so far, this is also my favorite. My friends, if it wasn't for you guys, I would not be pineappling right now. But here we are in Trinidad. We love you guys. So we're here for the pineapple. I'm liming it. I'm sorry, did I just squeeze lime on you? Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat this whole stick, but if this was a um, a fry challenge it, or fry test, it, it failed a fry test. It's limp and bent and crooked. Okay. Wow. Outside of it being pineapple, it's charred and seasoned to perfection. With the lime, makes it really good. It kind of cuts into some of that freshness of the pineapple, and I like that. So it balances a little more. It's not like in your face fresh pineapple, but it's also you can definitely taste the pineapple. I kind of like this better than that spear that we had at Epcot. It was pineapple. The fact that it's grilled and has a char on it is is makes it leaps and bounds better. I'm still not going to proactively eat this because pineapple is not my jam, but if pineapple is your jam, you will love this. I'm, Bear's gonna love this. Just wait. Pineapple is to island life, but alligators are to Florida. I don't even want to buy this. This is a work of art. The grill marks, the seasoning, the cilantro. It's only the princess like pineapple. Like the perfect island appetizer. It's juicy, smoky. Cilantro gives it a nice little uh, dimension. Still juicy. I'm glad the princess don't want any more. Three and a half out of five plus. Not always the greatest being a tall person in front of a short table. Let me just say that for one. Two, this looks like a Beyond sausage or beyond bread, let's say, with some onions and a pot. Let's see what it tastes like. These onions are like massive. This whole thing is pretty massive. Mm. You can kind of tell it's like pseudo cooked through. It doesn't seem like it's fully cooked all the way through. To your health. definitely beyond sausage. It's not overcooked, which is good. It's actually like cooked properly. The onions are a little sweet, so they kind of like complement it well. The bun is where you kind of lose me because it's hard. It's not pretzel. It's not that great. But it does have like this uh, mustardy sauce in there too. You can't see, but you can taste. And that's pretty nice. Other than that, I don't know if I would proactively get this either, but if you are in the mood for like a Beyond sausage, it'll it'll serve its purpose. I feel somehow we end up at the kids' table. This is one short table. 
and I got back problems. I've been giving you props on your tables, Universal, but this one, too short. Go ahead and skip these onions. Nice char. Already, he's like, did you give me a regular hot dog bun for a bratwurst? No, you gave me a roll. A non-toasted roll. Kind of dry. You got brat, but you don't have much else. Two and a half out of five plus. They come with these house-made chips. Crunchy, chippy. It very much reminds me of the same chips that you get at Disney. They're just like freshly made and lightly salted. Not bad. We like a good house-made chip. Salted, nice and crusty. Excellent crunch. Forget a five pause. Now we are in the Bahamas with jackfruit, which, you know, we love jackfruit. Now this jackfruit is not very like torn up. So that's kind of sad. It looks a little bit like the jackfruit that we've had in other locations here at Universal, which makes me scared that it's gonna be sad. I'm gonna, some water. I'm gonna throw some lime on here. We got some rice here at the bottom. And some salsa. Nice large bite. spicy. I went down the wrong tube. <coughs> My God. <sighs> spicy, you guys. <sighs> Don't take big bites. That was a really, really big mistake. Oh my God. I'm, I'm burning on the inside. Oh. Oh, crap. I'm okay. It really wouldn't be this bad if it didn't go down the wrong tube. Oh. Okay. Oh. I literally feel like I'm dying. The princess isn't a spice head like myself, but I have never seen her react to something like that before. So I'm low-key afraid to eat this now, because uh, that did not look pleasant. That smells spicy. What the hell do they put in this? Looks to just be some sort of pepper. You can't really tell what kind it is. Some pineapple and then the rice. Nothing that looks like it's gonna hurt you. Maybe that little orange thing there. Maybe habanero? Oh, good lord. Nope. That's habanero. Oh my god, why would they do that to somebody? Oh my god. I was prepared and that's still like a, a good five or a six out of ten. That's definitely habanero. It's like right in the front of the tongue. Maybe even more than one pepper, but it is harsh. Way too much for the normal person to consume. Like that's just not nice. Like you can't taste anything else but spice. None of the jackfruit, not the rice. All I taste is spice. And not in a good way. I had hopes for this. That's, that's that's a one out of five claws for me. That's barely edible, if at all, but like the highest people just like pain. If you like pain, that's for you. Otherwise, skip that and get something else. Oh my god, it's terrible. In the Cuban stand. Plantain chips. Like 
chips of goodness and gold and treasures, treasures. They're fresh and they're not salted, which is what I like about them. Okay, yes they are. This is good. I can get behind this. It's a whim. The bag is cute. I'll give them that. It's not much, but nice solid plantain chip. Mm, well, it's a good snack, I think. If you don't like popcorn, you want something like a little less warm and light. Work. Two and a half out of five plus. Russell Fritz, and I love that it actually says Fritz on the menu, so nobody has to look at me when I funny when I say Fritz because it says Fritz all the time. Fritz, Russell Fritz, and three different dippings, which you're supposed to get the choice, but they just gave you all one of everything. So I'm gonna start with this one. Mmm, it tastes like curry. That's really good. The fry. Is absolutely amazing. And you taste like um the puffs, what were they called? The puffs that we used to get that had like the Brussels and the cauliflower in them. I don't actually know what I want the name of it either. They make these puff chips that are like Brussels sprout puffs, and they taste just like this. This is good. It's like a little potato we taste to it. This is it's an odd taste, but it's good. Next sauce. Pinkish sauce. That one almost has like a ramelan taste to it. That's really good. So far the winner is a pink sauce. And the last sauce is just a vegan mayo. I'm gonna try it anyway. It's like just mayo. The winning is a pink one. The yellow one is like the most flavorful. And when the white is just lame. But this is a win. I think this is probably my second favorite item of the day. This sort of boggles my mind. So I'm very curious to how they make a Brussels sprout into a frit. Looks like a frit. Holds like a frit. Passes the frit test. Stunning colors, actually. Mmm, light airy, crisp on its own. Solid three out of five claws. These don't really need anything. But we do have sauce. This first sauce, this yellow sauce. It's like filled with herbs and whatnot. Mmm. Like a nice curried like turmeric kick. Nice little bit of tang. That three out of five claws. That's this middle one right here. A nice healthy dose. Ooh. They're very garlicky sauce. But like, not kill a vampire sort of garlic, but strong enough. Three and a half out of five points. As for this mayo, it just looks like mayo. Tastes like mayo. Eh. Two out of five claws. The weakest one overall. I'm gonna say uh, three and a half out of five claws. This is a nice little package. If uh, honestly, if you don't want all these, I would just ask them to just give you just one sauce. You don't need all three. It's just messy. They're touching. Eh. That has been our plant-based day at. Uh, Mardi Gras Universal. We skipped the desserts. Yes, we did. And there was.
was a pretzel we could have gotten, but you know, it's a pretzel, so we didn't do that either. Right. But if you guys would like us to come back, we're probably not going to come back for those things. I'm just saying. Maybe if you get 60 lights, I can convince the pretzel to come back for the donut and the pretzel. There was like the donut in Canada, there was an ice creamy sh or sor sorbet thing in Italy, and then the pretzel in Germany. That's the only things we didn't hit. Yeah. But I think they did a good job. They had a lot of options. They were all great. But we don't expect them to be. There's got to be some good and some bad. But it was a fun day. Lots of food. The winning stand for me was definitely Trinidad. Yeah, Trinidad hit it at the park with that food. Well, definitely, if that was offered as like a full plate, we would definitely eat oh, that. Oh, yeah. But we want to know what we had today. What is your favorite thing? Is there something that you guys like us to try? The comments going to be a place to let us know. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. Heard the girl. Watch our NOLA playlist because we love NOLA like a lot. Nobody watches NOLA videos. It breaks my heart. It does break my heart too.